the main thing is, is there are five basic activities that people do right or wrong. If they do them right, they get health. They do them wrong, they run the risk of developing disease. It's not an all or none phenomenon. Not every cigarette smoker gets lung cancer or emphysema or bronchitis. Uh, some people can get away with it, but it's very, very few. So uh, you take a look at what I call the five basic activities, which are breathing, drinking, eating, exercise, and you can call the last one the psychological, but I call it unrealistic expectations. So you educate people in those directions, and you end up preventing diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, gout, uh, uh, predisposition to infections, uh, cancer of the breast, uterus, colon, prostate. All those diseases sort of have the same common denominators, risk factors for their uh, occurrence. And so if you are right in all those areas, then you sort of don't break down in any of those areas. It's actually fairly simple, but in our society, it's very difficult. Uh, the idea is to make the individual self-reliant so that they need not have medical care, costly medical care, undergo surgeries, take expensive medications, develop side effects. So what you do is you arm people with the information that they need so that they don't require that. And generally, it's about reduced percent body fat, an organic whole foods diet, uh, drinking water and weak herb tea, having a positive attitude, smoking rarely at, or if at all, and um, exercising adequately to the point where you have what I like the new acronym of CLOD, C-L-O-D-D, -D, clear lines of definition slash demarcation. When you have an absence of fat under the skin, like on your abdomen, you can see where the muscles meet the muscles. And that's not a six-pack ab that's been ripped uh, because you've done a 1,000 sit-ups a day. That's just because there's an absence of fat and you have decent muscle development. So, yes, it requires some kind of abdominal exercise. But, but if you're going to do ab abdominal exercise, you're probably going to do arms, legs, uh, neck, back, and so on. So you need some exercise, but you need all the other things not to get uh, ill. Thank you.